To power the speaker on and off, use the power on off switch. To power on the microphone, press the power button shortly. To power off the device, press and hold the power button for five seconds until the device shuts down. Charging the battery, speaker. Connect the provided charger to an AC outlet. Connect the barrel jack of the charger to the charging port located on the bottom right side of the device. Charging the microphone. Connect a USB-C charging cable to the USB charging port of the microphone. The Pied Piper wireless microphone is connected automatically when both the speaker and microphone are powered on. While the microphone is connecting, it will display a pairing message. After the microphone is paired, it will display the current setting that is being adjusted. To connect a device to the AUX jack, use a stereo or mono 3.5 millimeter audio cable. Plug one end into your device and the other end into the speaker. Use only with line level devices like mobile phones or computers. The wired channels one and two are combination jacks that can accept both XLR and 6.35 millimeter jacks. Both inputs are mono, when connecting a stereo jack, the left and right channels are summed into one mono channel. The send output is a combination jack that can accept both XLR and 6.35 millimeter, aka 1.4 inches jacks. It provides a mono line level audio output for connecting the Pied Piper with external devices. To pair a new Bluetooth device, press and hold the pairing button. The LED next to the button will start to flash. This action will unpair the speaker from the previous device and allow pairing a new one. Once the LED starts flashing, finish the pairing process on your device. For a device that has previously been paired to the speaker, there is no need to do the pairing process. To connect an SD card or USB flash drive, insert them into their respective ports. The memory must be formatted to FAT32 in order to work with the Pied Piper speaker. The Pied Piper wireless microphone supports four pin XLR condenser microphones. Plug in the microphone into the XLR microphone input. To initiate playback from the SD card, insert an SD card to the SD card slot and then press the SD slash USB button from the menu button section. Using the scroll wheel, navigate to the SD card playback option. Click the scroll wheel to select the option. A list of available files will appear on the display. Navigate it to the desired file and click the scroll wheel to start the playback. To initiate playback from the USB flash drive, insert a USB flash drive into the corresponding port and then press the SD USB button from the menu button section. Using the scroll wheel, navigate to the USB flash playback option. Click the scroll wheel to select the option. Navigate to the desired option using the scroll wheel and click to engage it. Playback from Bluetooth. Press the Bluetooth pairing button shortly. This will change the playback mode to Bluetooth. Playback is controlled from the connected device. While any of the above playback methods is playing media over the speaker, the karaoke mode can be engaged to remove the vocals from the track that is being played. In order to activate the karaoke mode, press the SD slash USB button from the menu button section. Using the scroll wheel navigate to the karaoke on off option, Move the main volume knob to change the karaoke mode to on-off. The wired volume is adjusted using the knobs located in the volume dial section. Use the knob that is on top of the corresponding channel you want to adjust. The adjusted value will appear on the secondary display. The wireless volume can be adjusted both from the Pied Piper speaker and microphone. To adjust the volume from the speaker front panel, click the main volume knob, the volume settings for the two wireless channels will appear on the main display. Using the scroll wheel, navigate to the desired option and use the main volume knob to adjust the setting. To adjust the volume on the microphone for its corresponding channel, click the multi-function knob. The volume setting will show up on the display. Turning the multi-function knob will adjust the volume. To adjust the Bluetooth SD USB volume, use the knobs located in the volume dial section. Use the knob that is on top of the Bluetooth pairing button. The adjusted value will appear on the secondary display. There are three different effects available for both wired and wireless channels. Reverb, delay, and chorus. The effects for the wired channels are controlled from the speaker. By turning or clicking a knob in the FX dial section, the current effect settings for the corresponding channel will show on the secondary display. 
Clicking the knob will cycle through the different effects. When the desired effect is selected, turning the knob will adjust the effect value. The effects for the wireless channels are controlled either from the speaker or the microphone. To control the effects from the speaker, click the FX button from the menu button section. The selected effects and values for the two wireless channels will appear on the main display. Using the scroll wheel, navigate to the value you want to change and use the main volume knob to change the value. To control the effect from the microphone, click the FX button located in the wireless channel settings section. The selected effect will appear on the display. Use the multi-function knob to control the effect. Clicking the knob will cycle through the effects, while turning it will adjust the selected effects value. EQ control is available for the wired channels, wireless channels, and the Bluetooth slash SD slash USB output. The EQ for the wired channels and Bluetooth SD USB is controlled from the speaker, while the wireless channels can be controlled from both the speaker and the microphone. To control the EQ of the wired channels and Bluetooth SD USB, turn or click the corresponding knob in the EQ dial section. By doing this, the current EQ setting and value will appear on the secondary display. Clicking the dial will cycle through the low mid high settings, while turning it will adjust the selected setting. To control the wireless channel's EQ from the speaker, click the EQ button from the menu button section. The values for the two wireless channels will appear on the main display. Using the scroll wheel, navigate to the value you want to change and use the main volume knob to change the value. To control the EQ from the microphone, click the EQ button located in the wireless channel settings section. The selected EQ band will appear on the display. Use the multifunction knob to control the effect. Clicking the knob will cycle through the bands while turning it will adjust its value.